Welcome, pool players. Josh Powell here. You're watching Amateur Pool. Got another playoff match today from the APA Thumb area. Uh, this is my team. Brian Scott is, well, formerly my team. Brian Scott it was a member of my team, and Anthony Ford is his opponent. Uh, Brian's a skill level four. Anthony's a skill level five. This is nine ball. I missed the opening break, guys, but Anthony broke. He made one ball. He just took another shot and missed, and Brian is up at the table. So let's go. Let's get into it. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day today as well. Um, let's see what happens in this match here, guys. This is skill level four versus skill level five. I'm not sure I've ever posted one like this. Usually, uh, I'm one of the people playing, right? So it's usually a little bit higher skill levels, but um, it's always fun to watch a multitude of skill levels. So. Brian just missed that shot on the four ball. I'm pretty surprised by that. So Anthony's coming up to the table here. I doubt he's going to miss this four ball, which he did not. Rolled up nicely for shapes on the five. The six is going to be a little tricky. I think he has a slight angle, so he may run into the nine if he goes forward. Um, I'm not sure. He may stun out for the bank, maybe. That's that's about what he did. He stunned out just to see the six ball. Now, I think really the shot here is a bank. If he shoots the bank, he can stop it right there or just draw back slightly and he'll have a shot on the seven. I don't see much else he could really feasibly do here, you know? You know? You know. Hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas. Uh, New Year's coming up, so Happy New Year to everybody out there. Stay safe on New Year, guys. Stay safe. I know it's fun to party on that day. Um, I love to party on New Year's Eve, but stay safe when you do it, man. I want to keep you guys watching. You know, I'm selfish. I don't want you, if, if you go out and get into an accident or something, something happens, you can't watch my shit no more. You know? <laughs> no, just kidding, guys. But seriously, stay safe out there. I know New Year's is a amateur day. You know what I mean? For the bars and stuff, they call it amateur day, which I you think I would like, but I don't. <laughs> All right. What's he going to do? Oh, he's rolling slow. He's going to play a safety. Oh, he missed it, though. If he would have just nicked that, edge of that six ball he would have got a good safety out of that but he didn't he missed it here we are and here we are you know here we are guys brian's got ball in hand the score is two to three right now um this is a th brian needs 31 anthony needs anthony needs 38 so it's a four and versus a skill level five brian made the six he's looking at the long shot on the seven. Ooh, he missed the cut he went for the side. I thought he was going to cut it up into the corner, but he went for the side and he missed. He left Anthony basically the same shot. So let's see if Anthony can show him the path. You know what I mean? Say, Brian, this is how you should have did it. This is how you should have done it. My friend, my friend, my friend. Still no sponsor, guys. Still no sponsor, you know. Powerade, you're disappointing me. I'm thoroughly disappointed in you, Powerade. You should have called me by now. We could have had a sponsorship deal. Uh, could have been making you tens of dollars by now. You know what I'm saying? Could have made you tens of dollars. I could have sold at least 35 of these. At least. But here we are. All right, so I can't believe the way that went down. Um, Brian ended up with ball in hand. I believe Anthony made it and scratched, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's see, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, we've got one dead ball. The score is six to three with one dead ball. Where's my dead ball graphic? Hmm. I'll go back. You guys will never know that it was missing because I'm going to go back after this and put it back in before I post this. So you're going to be like, what the hell are you talking about, guy? Your dead ball graphic was right there. You know? <laughs> Meanwhile, when I'm watching it after the raw edit, it was not there. It's magic, guys. It's basically magic, you know? All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He made one on the break, but no shot on this two ball whatsoever. I don't even see a good way he can hit it. I'm not sure what he's doing. I think he tried a little Z shot action there, but that was way off. Brian, bro, bro. I think he failed geometry. You know what I'm saying? I think he failed it. Is that geometry with the angles? It's got to be. Got to be geometry. I don't know. I don't know, little Timmy. Stop bothering me, bro. Just trying to talk, you know? Just trying to watch a match here. 
calling me out on saying geometry when it should have been something else. I think it is geometry, though, for real. For real. For really, though. You know? For really, though. All right. And he's got ball in hand. He's going to make this two, I bet you. Yep. Drew back. And hooked himself on the three. Sheesh. Sheesh. This one actually is a pretty quick match, guys. I think it's only like 30 minutes long. So one of these guys is going to catch fire probably here in a second, I bet. I betcha. I'm willing to bet. Oh, he just missed it. Good shot at it. It was a tough kick. Not easy. So Brian should be able to get the three and the four here. The five's a little bit more tricky because he's got to get all the way from the four, which is at the other end of the table up there. Where is it? Like right here, I think. I'm not sure if I'm pointing the right way or not, but I think it's right there. Um, and he's got to get all the way down over there for the five ball. So let's see how he shapes the four because that's key. This is not a bad shape. He could use straight right or he could use straight left. Straight right would be a one rail shape. He tried using left, but he used top left. Did you see how the cue ball arced? Instead of just going straight over to the rail, it kind of came down and arced. That's because he used top left. If he used straight left, it wouldn't have done that. It would have just went straight over to the side rail, the long rail, and then cut back. He tried to make that, that nine ball there, and he missed it, and he left it hanging in the pocket. That may be a kiss of death. Let's see what Anthony does. He could try to bank this back at it, or he could just thin cut the five and send the cue ball back at the nine. It's probably the way I would like to do it. If I were going to go for the nine, he could just play a safety here as well. He tried banking. Oh, and he got the unlucky scratch. Man, Anthony's really itchy today. You know what I'm saying? He keeps scratching all over the place. My man, my man, Anthony. Anthony's a good dude, man. I've played him a bunch. Good guy, and I appreciate you letting me record, Anthony, if you're watching this. Appreciate you letting me record. Not only record, but take a, a thumbnail. I don't know if you guys saw the thumbnail. I'm sure you did because you clicked the video. He let me take that thumbnail of him doing this. I mean, that's pretty awkward for somebody not used to getting, you know, recorded and pictured it's kind of weird but i appreciate man kudos to you anthony um got a bunch of dead balls now because um there was a, a short rack there brian got that short rack uh, so the score's 13 to 4 anthony's got to step it up if he's going to win this remember anthony has to get about seven more balls than brian does but brian's helping him miss the one ball Set it up nice, so Anthony should be able to, He's got to shoot over the five a little bit, so it's not as easy as it looks, this shot. I mean, on the surface, you look at it and say, oh, that's an easy shot, but he's got to shoot over that five, so his, his stick's going to be jacked up slightly, and it's not as easy as it looks. Yeah, it's an uncomfortable bridge. Let's see what he does. Yeah, he missed it. I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure if he was going to make it or not, like I said, that shot looks easy, but can be very tough when you got a bridge over top of another ball like that. But he did get second prize and uh, hooked Brian. Brian has no shot here. He, he's got a kick. If he kicks that way, he's really just either kicking the safe or kicking the hit. Uh, he's not kicking to make it if he kicks that way. I mean, if he goes in, obviously it's, it's pure luck, but he's not purposely kicking to make that shot. Now he's kicking to make it. He could come off this top rail. He's got a good opportunity to make that ball. He spun it too. Had to spin it. Made a good hit. Left Anthony a good shot though. I mean, it's a back cut up the rail. So sometimes for skill level fours and fives, these can be a little bit tricky. Um, these can be tricky for anybody, to be honest with you. Sometimes if I'm not shooting well, I have a hard time with this particular shot. It's like one of the first shots I start missing when my stroke isn't great. Yeah, that's an easy way to miss it, too. A lot of times, that's the way you miss it. You undercut it because you're worried about overcutting it, you know? You know? You know. You already know. You already know, bro. Already. I didn't have to tell you. You already knew. <sighs> Kicked at it again, but this time, no rail. No rail. He hit it off the second rail. Neither the cue ball or the one ball hit a rail after contact. So Anthony has balls in his hand. He's going to fondle them and play with them a little bit and figure out where he wants to put them. He's settled on a spot. It's going to line up for the two. That was a good shape. Good shape. It's really easy to over hit that one. 
Uh, he's a little bit off angle here, but he's straight enough. I think he could just draw it slightly and, and have a shot at the, the three in the other side. Oh, he drew it a lot and then spun it up. That was a very, very good shot, Anthony. Nice, well done. Good stroke on that. Now I can just make this with a little bit of top, fall down to that top rail or that bottom rail down there uh, for the four. Well done. Well done, old chap. Well done. All right, this one, if he uses straight top, oh, he, uh, he left himself a shot, man. It's not an easy one. So I would have went back and back and then back over again. I would have hit that one firm. Um, and I would have went one, two rails, you know, side to side, and then back over for the shot on the five, just because it's an easier shot. The way he did it was safer route to get a shot, but his shot was a whole lot harder. That cut shot was not easy as you, as as evident by the fact that he missed it, you know, as evident. I like to try to sound uh, smart every now and then, use some big words, you know. <laughs> oh, did he line up? Is the 5'9 lined up here? That is the question of the day. If it's lined up, this rack is over. If it's not lined up, well, we're going to find out. Stay tuned. Same bat time, same bat channel. It was not lined up. He could have probably thrown it in if they were frozen, if he would have watched my short video on how to do that. <laughs> if they're frozen, guys, you can actually throw the second ball one direction or the other, depending on just what side you hit the first ball. Um, I did make a short on it. If you want to comb through and find it, you can. Uh, if not, you can just search it. And there's a lot of videos out there on it. It's pretty cool, though. A lot of people don't realize you can do that when the balls are frozen, but they're not lined up where you need them to be. If it's off just a little bit, you can hit one side or the other and throw the second ball. And it's, it's, it's usually the opposite side you think it is, right? <laughs> like if you want the ball to go to the left, you don't, you don't hit the object ball on the left like you think you would the first object ball. You hit it on the right. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird, you know? Weird. All right, this shot right here is a tough one. Is he playing a combo or is he trying to cut it? He's trying to cut it. Not easy. Being cheesy. That was some tough acting, ten acting right there, boys. Tough acting. Boom! You know, like John Madden. All right, this is a tester for a skill level four, and he nailed it. That was a good shot, Brian. Good stroke. He's got another tester here on this eight ball. He can go to the side or the corner. The corner is probably an easier way to shape the nine. Um, and he went for the corner. Smart. I mean, make it or not, I think he made the right call by going to the corner there. Could have done it by going to the side as well. Would have took some more maneuvering on the cue ball, though, to get where he needed to be to make the nine. All right. Anthony, Anthony. Anthony is off this day, guys. Um, I can tell you right now, I've seen him shoot a bunch. Don't judge him on what you're seeing right here. He plays quite a bit better than this. He's just having a bit of an off day so far, it looks like. And Brian is taking advantage. Brian's making a lot of good shots that uh, you don't normally see uh, from skill levels threes and fours and sometimes even fives, you know. Making some good shots. That was another good shot using the bridge. Now he's got a tester here, though. This is not easy. Some tough action. And he missed it. And he missed it. And left Anthony a good shot into the corner pocket. I just wrote that song, guys. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, I just wrote that. You know, you can use it on your videos if you want. If it's copyrighted. Just pay me a, a penny every time you use it. That's all you got to do. A penny. That's all I need. You know, it's all that song's worth. Wasn't that good? I've written better. I've written better. <laughs> I've written. Written. Rotin, rotin, scootin, tootin. Rascally rabbit. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dry break. Dry break. So Brian's going to come up. He's got a good shot on this one. Let's see what he does here because the two is kind of funky. Is he going to run into him? Oh, he, oh, oh. Came out looking all right here. The three's ugly. Can't really do much with that. So I imagine, yep, he's going for the nine. He's going to play carom. It's going to hit the edge of the two. Good shot, Brian. Good shot, guy. That's not easy to do. So there's my dead ball graphic. It's back. I didn't even have to fix that one. It came back automatically. I just got to fix, like, the, the early one. 
That was nice, though. Nice. Well done. So we got 11 dead balls. Scores 10 to 20 because Brian made one on the break. It was uh, it was 10 to 19 prior to that break. He's got to look at the one. Doesn't have a great shot at the one here, but he's he can see it. I think he can cut it past the seven, but it's not easy being cheesy. He almost played it off the what we call a ticky shot off the rail off the seven. That would have been pretty cool, you know. I don't think he meant to do that, but it would have been cool. Turn my lights up here, guys. What am I doing? I got my lights way down. I had to turn them up. Can you guys hear that? Yeah, you can hear it. It's annoying. I'm sorry. I'll stop. All right. Anthony. Oh, that spin takes off the... Ooh. I thought that spin was going to get him back down to where he had a shot on the two in the side, and I was about to be very impressed. Instead, I'm just moderately impressed, you know? I was going to be thoroughly impressed, but... Now it's just a moderate impression. Okay, ended up with a tough leave for Brian here because not that the shot is extremely hard, which is not a simple shot, don't get me wrong, but if the three ball and the nine ball weren't there, the shot would be a whole lot easier. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, just move that three wherever you need it, Brian. Go ahead and move it around, you know? That's legal. It is actually legal in the APA. Not to do it on purpose, but... Um, Bumping a ball, it's got to be moved back. The rules officially say that the opponent has to move it back. There's not even an option. You can't leave it where it, where it was moved to. You have to move it back. That's what the rules say, but um, no one's, well, I can't say no one. Most people aren't that anal. Oh, he almost made that. That was a good shot. Most people aren't that anal about that rule, right? If you bump a ball, a lot of times they'll just tell you to move it back where you thought it came from. But um, they can. So don't do what Brian just did. If you bump a ball, don't automatically grab it and move it back because you're not supposed to do that. The rules say that your opponent must move it back. And, again, someone calls you on that rule, you know, uh, have them raise their hand. I'll come hit them in the head with a hammer because they're a moron. They're basically retarded, you know. Oh, I just used a bad word. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. You know, in my era, that wasn't a bad word. Nowadays, it's a bad word. So if I offended anybody, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here I go, guys. Can't take me anywhere. That's why we can't have nice things these days. You know, I'm out of control. Can't be controlled. All right, back to the match, man. Stop distracting me. I'm trying to commentate on this match. You guys are, you guys are distracting me. Tell me I'm not politically correct. I know. I know I'm not politically correct. I don't, even, I don't ever want to be politically correct, you know? I don't conform. I'm non-conforming. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he almost made that cut shot up the rail on that four, which was not an easy cut. But he came very close to making it. So we're looking at 12 to 21. Brian only needs 10 points to win. Anthony needs, what, 26? Holy macaroni, Batman. What's going on here? All right, the only shot Brian really has here, I think, I don't think he can see it clear. I think he's going to have to play it off the rail. Let's, let's see, though. I could be wrong. No, he could see it clear. Could see it clear. He underhit it, though. He wanted to hit that quite a bit harder and get the cue ball all the way down table for a shot on the five. Now he's got to bank the five, and it's not easy. He put inside English on that bank, which you're supposed to do, but he um, he didn't hit it full enough, you know. The inside English is to avoid the double kiss, but you, you still have to hit it pretty full when you do that. Anthony can bank this or cut it, I think. I like the cut, but the bank's not bad. I think he's going to bank. Yeah. Ooh, he almost made it, too. Almost made it, and he got a lucky safety on Brian. On Brian. <laughs> I just wrote that song too, guys. I'm basically a songwriting wizard, you know? Basically a songwriting wizard, you know? Idiot savant without the savant part. It is what it is. That's what I am. Oh, is he going to get it on the way back? No, sir. No, sir. -y. Now we got ball in hand for Anthony. All right. Can Anthony run these four balls? I think he can. In fact, I know he can. I've seen him do similar things 
But will he do it this time is the real question. Will he do it? He made this, the five. He's got a decent shape on the sevens. A little bit of a longer shot. So we'll see what he does here. We'll see what he does. Ooh, very nice, Anthony. Very nice shot. That's not easy. Um, he's... Is this, this looks like a pretty tough shot, but reality, it's not extremely hard. Straight top English will, will get him to the shape on the nine, so he doesn't have to do much with the cue ball. You need to hit it a little harder than that, though. And make it, of course. That always helps. It always helps when you make the ball, you know, unless you're just trying to give your opponent a shot, which I think Brian's going to get out here. It's two balls to go. He left himself a little funky on this nine. It's a long shot. But I think he can probably make it. We'll see what happens. I'd say it's 50-50 toss-up. It went with the 50 instead of the 50. You know what I'm saying? All right, Tony Tone at the table here with an easy nine for the match. Or not for the match, for the rack. Was he going to scratch? Nope. All right, 16 to 23, 11 dead balls. And this match is well underway. Did he make something? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He made one ball on the break, so 17, 23. He's got a good-looking shot at this one ball. I don't think he can shape the two, but the cue ball, if he makes the one, is headed right at the nine, and the nine's sitting in the pocket. So we could have a short rack here. See if he makes it. Always well, taking a good look at it, as you should. As you should. It's an important shot. Ooh, and he double kissed it in. That's three points for Anthony. The score is now 20 to 23 with 17 dead balls, guys. There's almost two full racks of dead balls. Crazy. All right. Anthony scratched. Did he make one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He made two. Now we got 19 dead balls. Now we're over two racks of dead balls. Craziness. Crazy. Good looking wide open table here for Brian, though. Let's see what he can do. The one to the three is the hardest situation right here. It's the hardest shape to get. If it looks like he's going to go forward, he could draw here as well, but I think he's going to go forward. Nice, stunned. Ah, that works, but now he's got a, now he's got a tough cut. He's got to cut this up the rail. The good news is the cue ball is going to go back and forth when he cuts it, so he shouldn't have to do much to shape the four. He did get a shape on the four. Not a great one, though. He underhit it a little bit. If he had hit it a little harder, he would have had a good-looking shape on the four. That was a that shot was a little tougher than the last one. Same kind of shot where you got to cut it up the rail, but that one was a lot tougher by the side pockets, a lot longer way to cut. Uh, and he was further away from the object ball as well with the cue ball. So uh, that one was not super easy. He didn't leave Anthony anything great here, though. I mean, he could try the combo. I don't think the four goes past the six. Could try the combo here, but that's not easy. It's tough action. He tried the bank. Tried the bank. Where is it getting? Round and round, round it goes. Where it ends up? Now I know. Left Brian a shot. Brian's got a shot on the four, but it's a long shot. You know, it's not easy. Not easy for a skill level four, especially. Okay, he missed it, he missed it, but I think he's going to get lucky again. Sure enough is, sure enough, sure enough, you know. Can you hit the ball? No, he's trying to, that was pretty smart play, you know. I mean, he didn't execute it real well, but there's a good idea. You know, he was afraid that he couldn't hit the four, so instead of just giving Brian ball in hand with an open table, he was pushing the six and the four together. So Brian had ball in hand but didn't have a shot. He didn't execute it the way he wanted to. He wanted that six to be sitting right on top of the four. Brian may actually have a shot here now. I think the four might go past the six. Um, or he's going to shoot the four down that way as long as the cue ball doesn't hit the six. Nah, yeah, he didn't like that. I like shooting the four up there. Um, or if you don't like that shot, if it doesn't go, 
you play a safety. You, you take the cue a little off the rail. Mm, not like that, though. I would not have played a safety that way myself, personally. You know, I don't think, uh, well, it didn't work. You know, Anthony's got a shot. He's got a shot. He can cut this in the side. I think he could even bank it if he wants, but I like the cut. Anthony went for a safety, but he hit, he hit the four ball too thin, so his cue ball tangent line went straight in the side pocket. If he would have hit the four ball a little thicker, a little more full, the cue ball would have went more down towards the, the corner pocket, and it wouldn't have scratched. Brian's got to leave the cue ball there. Yeah, he tried. Did you see the body English? He tried, like, pushing his whole body through that ball. Um, that's why he missed that, all that body movement on that shot. Left Anthony a good shot here, though. Well, made it. And he put a little bottom right to get beautiful shapes back on that six. Great shot, Anthony. Um, what's he going to do to get on the seven? If he goes forward, he might hit the eight. Oh, he went backwards. He's good at that draw, that uh, that draw spin. I like to call it whatever we call it. You know, draw with spin. He's uh, he's done it a few times in this match, and they they seem to be turning out pretty well for him. So great job, man. It's not an easy shot that everybody knows how to execute. Not everybody knows that shot. Well, the, most people know it. Not everybody can execute that shot. He did well giving himself a shot on the eight, but. It's not the best shot in the world. That's a tough cut. Let's we'll see what he does. Missed it. That was not an easy cut, guys. That was, it was a tough shot. And he left Brian an okay shot, but this isn't a simple shot either. If he's going to try to cut that over into the side, it's not easy. And to cut it in the corner is tough too. He tried banking it, missed it, but he got it on the second time. He missed the first bank, but he hit the good speed, so it came back and got it the second time around. Uh, so now Brian's looking at 26. If he makes this, which is not an easy shot, but he clutched it up. Now he's at 28. He only needs three more balls. Three balls. Most people have two already. You know, he needs three. He just broke. Is he going to make something? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He is not. Broke dry. Broke dry. Me, oh my. Broke dry, my friend. All right, let's see if, if Anthony can make a comeback here, man. He's got to step it up. He needs to run some balls if he wants a chance at winning this. He's got to go to 38, so he's still uh, 15 away. Brian only needs three, so it's tough action. Tough acting to knack. And he missed that shot, but good news, he didn't really leave Brian a shot here. Uh, so what's Brian going to do? Hmm. He could play it with top right and just cross the one over to the center of the rail and bring the cue ball. Eh, that's not what he, he tried to bank it in, but he left Anthony a shot here. He missed his shot and left Anthony a shot, but this is a tough shot, especially for a little bit lower skill level players. That back cut, that long back cut is not easy. It's hard for everybody, really. When I'm not shooting good, when my stroke's not good, that's the first shot I start missing right there. He missed it as well. Uh, came back up. He left Brian uh, an option for a combo here. I don't think Brian can cut the one uh, into any pocket, but he can combo the one into the three. It's going to be hard for him to come away with a shot if he does that, though. Might be better off looking at a safety. Mm, I don't think he was playing a safety. He may have been. I'm not sure exactly what he was trying to do there, but I think he left Anthony a shot. That one ball's sitting real close to the pocket. Um, and it looks like Anthony may have a good shot at it here. Let's see. Nope. Man. Man, oh, man. Lots of missing going on here. All right, Brian's back at the table. Let's see what he can do. He's got basically the same cut going back down the other way now. Brian clutched up and made it. But he hooked himself on the two ball. <laughs> Man, there's some drama to the end of this match, guys. Hit that like button for me if you like drama. This is a good match. This is a playoff match, so both these guys felt some pressure, you know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, all that good stuff that everyone always says. Don't forget, do it, do it, do it, you know. Nice combo there. The cue ball drifted a little bit forward, though. Now it's on the rail. I don't think he can cut it in. Now he's looking at kicking at it. He's going to kick at it to try to make it here. 
I may have tried a safety there, but who knows? I mean, it depends on how you feel at the moment. He kicked at it, made a good hit, but missed the shot. Now sitting in the pocket, Brian should be able to win this match here. Oh, don't get behind the seven. That was close. He hit the seven just right. And this will be your game here when this goes in, guys. That's match. I appreciate everybody for spending their time here with me. Brian, Anthony, thanks so much for letting me record you guys. You guys want new short rail merch? It's up. Hit the link in the description and go cop some, sucker. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.